Welcome back to STL TV Live, I'm Sarah Bernard. More and more children these days are learning how to read before they get into kindergarten, and they're getting loads of help from ready readers. I now welcome Lisa Greening and Sally Reynolds uh, to the show, thanks for coming. And all right, how exactly are preschoolers learning to read? Are they really learning to read? Is that a possibility? Um, absolutely, 90% um, of language happens before you enter kindergarten, the learning of language. And so it's very important to be read to, to be read to the day you're born until, until you start reading yourself. And I would even say after um, learning to read, to continue to read to your children. So being read to actually helps these children learn to read Absolutely. so when they get to kindergarten, they're ready. Absolutely. They're, it's called emergent literacy skills that our children learn when they're being read to. Um, everything from how to hold a book, how to turn pages, how to follow a story, uh, vocabulary, cognitive skills, thinking skills, all of the important things being when they're being read to. Yeah, all these things that we don't really realize how our brain's working, how the baby brain's working, but reading, we've always heard, is so important, but there are still children who are not being read to. And I know we're going to talk more specifics about Ready Readers and all the great things that you're doing in the St. Louis area. We are so lucky to have you all here. Um, but to talk about reading development, Sally, you've raised five kids of your own, and I know you're spending all of your time now, your professional time in literacy and helping to bring this to little children. From your experience as a parent, did you start reading to your kids when they were babies? Oh, yes. We started reading to our children before they could even talk. Yeah. And um, we read to them all the time, and even after when they got to middle school and they were at that you know, age where they were so busy with everything else they didn't want to read, we still read to them. and um, Even in middle school, you were reading to your kids? Yes. I bet they loved it. Well, and I listen to books on tape, which is being mm -hmm. read to for adults. Mm -hmm. Right. And I, I think everyone loves to be read to. Yeah, that's exactly right. Mm -hmm. That's exactly right. And Lisa, you, you have a background in education, that's, and I, you have two children of your own. Right. Um, kindergarten teachers will repeatedly tell you that they know on day one what children have been read to and what children have not been read to. and. If the vocabulary that you have upon entering school in kindergarten is the best predictor right now for third grade reading scores. Hmm. And how do you get that vocabulary, that, uh, those special words that um, we learn just in language but also in books? Mm -hmm. Once upon a time, we don't say that in our language that we say back and forth, but a child that's been read to knows those special words. And when you enter kindergarten and you've been read to, you're ready to learn to read. If you haven't been read to, you have so much to catch up with that it's almost, it's very difficult. Mm -hmm. It's very difficult. So when you are a new parent, you have an infant, I think some parents feel a little uncomfortable reading to a baby, to a newborn, because they think the child's not, it's just too tiny, is not mm -hmm. able to really even, even understand what you're reading. So what do you recommend you start with, with a baby? You want it? I read, I would read the newspaper yes. with just, with <laughs> great expression okay. and um, out loud and, and anything I was reading, I would just read out loud as if it was uh, a great story. A great story, yeah, a great child's story. Because so it's they, really the expression. They're hearing words and yeah, when they're little, they're just, they're just hearing the, the expression. The expression and, of the written word um, and how. Yeah. That's really interesting. That's a great tip, actually. Yeah, yeah we um, scientists now have, are actually showing that when a child is being read to, the neuron synapses are moving faster in a child's brain at age one day. Wow. Also, the synapses move more when a child is being held. So the combination of holding your child and reading, talking, um, mm -hmm. singing, mm -hmm. um, all of those things, um, uh, go, go into a child way before, at a time when they're open. Yeah, and reading, kids love to be read to, and it's so mm -hmm. relaxing mm -hmm. for the parent as well. Right. It's Absolutely. a good time to just bond. And for the children. Mm -hmm. It's just such a, a warm bonding period. Yeah, yeah. so Ready Readers, uh, we're going to take a quick break in, it in just a second, but uh, you all, your organization, you're, you're reading to 8,000 children, is that right? Every week. Every week in St. Louis mm -hmm. before they get to kindergarten. Absolutely. So an, right. That's an amazing, and we're going to talk more about how you do that because I can't even fathom that. <laughs> so we'll be right back uh, with more STL TV Live in just a minute. Stay with us.